Greetings, new and old viewers. It is your pal, buddy, friends, whatever you call it. This is my amazing little nifty Berg pedal go-kart. I like it so much, it's huge. You think it's slow, but once you get very fast, like in the nine to 11 mile per hour range, it can, it can get very scary. You can easily try and like tip it over, but you think you're gonna flip all the way over, but you just do like a little end down, go right back down. It's very, very stable, way better than a bike. I prefer it over a bike. I wish it had like some sort of electric motor or a gasoline motor. There is a pedal assisted hybrid version of this, but it only goes 16 kilometers an hour, which translates to 12 miles an hour. Like, hey, I've managed to get this up to 17 going down a medium sized hill. Comes with this neat parking brake. I find that pretty cool, prevents it from rolling. It'll just keep on rolling once you take it off. Like if you're on a decent gradient, it'll just keep on going. We're not just about rolling, we're about rolling in style once we get this thing up to speed. I'll show you guys a little ride on this thing. Yeah. Oh. Don't even get me started about the steering radius. It is moy, moy, awesome! No wonder I can do crazy little endos like that. You're making the whole thing just shake and squeak. Um, uh, I think some of the squeaking can either be done by WD-40 because uh, not even that because this is just all part of the breaking in process. I just built it This morning it Took me about 45 minutes Not a lot of time. I Don't think this thing will have any any downtime like all my other bikes do It is very very durable put this in perspective the weight limit is like 220 pounds I'm only 190 but can you imagine some like six foot three 220 foot pound uncle on this that would be insane that just shows you why I leave it to the Germans we'll just let this car go by it's all pedal power it's all just you. That's what it is. It's all just you. You're fully in control. Oh. Yeah, this squeaking is just part of the breaking in process. Like bikes. People at the bike shop tell me like weird rattles, squeaks, and clanks can all be associated with just having to break it in, you know, you just gotta ride it. You just have to, you just have to enjoy it. You gotta put some miles on it. It'll pretty much fix and adjust itself. We're gonna have a probably a beautiful sunset. Oh. <coughs> just a little sick, nothing wrong. Yeah, handles like a dream. Yeah, this thing can actually get pretty fast. It's very phenomenal. Oh. Wow. Don't let me forget to tell you, it's a off-roading monster. 
I'm not kidding, it really is an off-roading monster. I just hit a huge bump. It is so fun to try and jump off of jumps. Like, it basically is a tractor. So, see this tractor right here? It's basically that, just with pedal power. It does excellent on gravel. I love having sidewalks. If you're town, no matter if you're in like Europe, England, America, like if you, even if you're in like the middle of nowhere, like in South Africa, make sure your government mandates having sidewalks. Sidewalks are your friend when it comes to like go-karting, biking. I just, I'm very, very lucky. Oh, <laughs> did I forget to mention how awesome it is to try and drift? I mean, man, the braking power on this thing is insane. Not only that, although I can't do donut burnouts, it does pretty good tire squeals. Show in a second, like watch this. Mm. You gotta see this. Yeah, it literally sounds like... <laughs> it literally sounds like a movie. Wait till you hear both tires. That was just one tire. It is actually one wheel drive. Like the Coleman go-karts, the go-karts at Fun Town, Splash Town or like a local bat and cage mini golf course go-karts. Those are all actually one wheel drive and they have like these 212 cc Predator six and a half horsepower engines. As reliable as they are, you know, I just enjoy pedal power. It's not bad. I wish I had a BFR three, but so far I am enjoying the standard BFR XL. I would love an EBFR, but hey man, if I can do crazy endos, top out 17 going down a decently sized hill, kind of like that, I'm just happy. I highly recommend. So my phone just decided to call it quits on my ass, but I'm clearly trying to record a video. I don't know why. It just kicked me out of the camera app, just telling me I have 20% left. That's not cool. You could have done that later. When I'm in the middle of filming. Last clip, I promised a double wheel tire squeal. Peel. Yeah. I owe it to you, and uh, I'm going to record in HD rather than Ultra. Just and get a little bit of battery life per se like save a little bit of battery life for a next clip or a video anyway here we go all right manual e-drift <laughs> That was with both tires. Wait, let me get a little bit of that, uh, that e-brake action again. <sighs> yeah, it's very, very fun to F around with. We'll move out of the way for this gentleman and the lady behind my ass. Yep, 
Yeah, I highly recommend this. All human power form a transport. Way, way better than a bike. Just so much more fun. Anyway, it was nice seeing you and filming for you and fucking around with you. Hey, I get better gas mileage than that thing. Fucking hybrid. Wanna be liberal, abolitionist. I get zero miles per gallon. It's all human power. All I do is consume water and food to get this thing going and muscle. I would like more muscle, but I have enough muscle as it is. I don't care what view you have in American politics, British politics, Middle Eastern politics. We all agree that no politics are needed just to like enjoy this beautiful view. Oh man. Yeah, we can all agree we all love trucks. Cool. Yeah, with tractors. But basically, this is literally a tractor without the engine as if it was a tractor. This is all human power. I don't know what else you want to argue about, honestly. <coughs> it's very, very fun. Honestly. It goes quite fast. It's freaking amazing. Best investment ever. Thank you. Is that thing new? Nice. I just got this thing uh, this morning. Yeah, it came in last night, but I just put this thing together. Yeah, it only took me like 30 minutes to build. <coughs> yeah, this and my camper get very, very good gas mileage. And they actually don't require actual gas. Well, it may require a truck with gas, but you don't need gas to have a trailer. You just plug it into the side of your house. You have water, you have AC in there. In fact, I actually broke the AC. No way, I didn't break it. It's just defective. We have a defective AC moon it. That's a bummer, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's nice showing you all this. Hey, peace out.